Hi everyone, Sandra here from Scoop.my. Today we are at the Joan Bola Trading Center, a very new spot which was just created about 10 years ago. I'm just going to talk to the president of the Joan Bola Association on why he created this spot and how this new spot is going to survive in the upcoming years and what are his plans to expand the spot. Let's see what he has to say. The history of the spot, okay, we started developing this spot in 2012. Okay. It took us about three years to test out the equipment, test out the regulations, the rules, have some preliminary competitions to see whether our rules work or not. By 2014, we were ready to register the sport. 2014, we registered with the Pusurojaya Sokan Sports Commission of Malaysia, and then we rolled out the sport. Yes, yeah, we are being assisted by Kementerian Balir and Sokan and Kementerian Pendidikan uh, Malaysia. They have been very, very supportive. We are, we are so grateful. And, because of the recognition they have given us and the opportunities they have given us, we have been able to take it to schools and we have been take it. So this is what we, 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 we need to continue. So this is for the nation, for the country. Hopefully, we are looking at Sukma for next year, uh, August uh, of next year in Sarawak. We are looking at doing as a demonstration spot in Sukma. And then we are looking at 2027 when Malaysia will be the Tuan Rumah the host for the SEA Games. Sea Games so yeah. to my university, uh, to Cobra One University College. I started playing the sport uh, in the year 2016 when I was a student in the college. Different age group of people in Malaysia to pick that sport up. That's definitely the number one aim. Ideally, to bring Malaysia as this sport creator in the world map and not forgetting into the big competitions like Olympic, Asian Games, SEA Games, Commonwealth. That's where I want to see Jombola step up and be the highlight of the nation.